Hi everyone, and welcome to the Management and Monitoring Cast. On the top left, we can see aggregate memory and CPU utilization graphs across all of the server that are managed by Zap. At the top right, we can see which applications are deployed, and for each application, which processing units it consists of, and which infrastructure components, such as GSM, GSA, and the likes are available. At the bottom, we can see the alerts pane. Every new alerts, such as replication, channel disconnection, or high CPU utilization, will show up here. Let's switch to the application view. Here, we can see all the application and their processing units. For each application, we see all its processing units and how they depend on one another. In this case, we deployed the Zap Data example, which comes bundled with the product. Each box represents multiple processing unit instances. For example, the processor has four instances, two primaries and two backups, and we can see checkmark indication that says that everything is correctly deployed. Note that for each processing units, we can learn about its type and deployed ZAP services using the small icons. At the bottom, we can see processing unit specific metrics, starting from machine level metrics through JVM metrics, such as GC pauses and ending with space specific metrics like write and read throughput. In addition, we can see the host that the application is deployed on. Processing unit instance deployed on each machine and aggregate view of all the processing units. Live tail of the processing unit instance. Logs and recent events that occurred in the grid. Switching to the data grids view. Here, we can see in-depth detail about the deployed data grids, or spaces as we call them. We can see which one is primary and which one is backup based on the color. For each space, we can see its instances by clicking here. At the bottom, we can see various details and statistics about the data grid as a whole or specific instances. We can submit queries directly from the browser. If we switch to the Types pane, we can see all of the data types and query them easily by just clicking. Naturally, we can write much more sophisticated queries. In the Statistics pane, we can see the throughput of each of the space operations and we can choose which statistics we want on the graph. We can see aggregate operation count and live throughput readings. In the other panes, we can see details about client-side edge caches, which are called local cache and local view in the ZAP terminology. We can see which clients are connected and what are their local cache configurations. Finally, we can see all the event containers, which are the space equivalent to message processors. We can see various details about their configuration and processed events. That's it. Thanks for watching.